Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Valheim. Today we are going to be searching for a swamp biome, so hopefully we come across one of those today. That would be ideal. We are currently circling the island that we just fought the boss at, so hopefully there's one here. Although currently it's not looking like there's going to be one because this is nothing but black forest right now. So I wonder if this entire island is going to be that. That would be kind of cool. It's a whole ton of trees that we can harvest up eventually. Well, after a slight detour, we do have a swamp biome off the west side of the island, although this is not a very big swamp biome, and it doesn't look like there's any of the dungeons here. So this could potentially not be great. We have to probably keep looking because this is, yeah, it's really tiny. Okay. So, uh, well, at least there's our swamp discovery. We do have one of those tablet things over there. I'm going to go try and do a drive-by and grab real quick. And I guess I'm just going to continue searching here. I was kind of hoping there would be more to this place, but uh, nope. It's just a really tiny little swamp area here. I'm beginning to wonder if I might have a slightly broken seed because uh, we're in the middle of the ocean right now and it's counting this as a plains biome. And this is the plains biome right in front of us again. It's a little tiny chunk of the biome that, if we get lucky, could have the, uh, the food item from there. But it's looking like that's not the case either. So, oh, actually, hold on. Uh, nope, that's just grass. We might have the seeds here. Come on. It doesn't look like there's anything hostile on there. If there is, we're going to die instantly. Also, that's the plains biome right there. Okay, well, um, that's not really where we want to be, if I'm being honest here. Can I get off of this for two seconds? I just want to very quickly see. Maybe we got the little berry things here. Yeah, those are definitely not them. Okay. Um... Well, we know there's a plains biome right over there. We, again, cannot go there right now because we will instantly die. So we can plop a waypoint down, and we'll come back to that if we don't find a swamp biome because I, I'm really not even super interested in even floating around the coastline of it because I'd, I'd rather not die. So I'm going to go back toward the island that we've been floating around. It looks like there's another chunk of island this way that might be worth our time if not we can go back to this island over here and maybe there's a swamp on that place well this is looking pretty promising right now we have a decent sized swamp biome it looks like right here so we will go into that in a minute i want to go find a place to plop down our portal but over on that side which you might not be able to see too well because it's storming we have a plains biome over there as well so once we're done with this we have all the iron and stuff that we're going to need we can then go over there and start working our way through that stuff as well, since we know where one of those is going to be. But we have a leech right here. Hopefully this thing doesn't kill us. But uh, let's see if we can kill it and get whatever it's going to drop, since it followed us out of the swamp here. If I could hit it without getting hit by him, please, that would be fantastic. We got hit. Okay, whatever, that's fine. We've got a blood bag, we've got a red banner, and we got two new potions, I think that was. Nice, we got a little building here we can plop our portal in, and then we can just jump back to base and grab some wood so we don't have to actually cut anything down right now. So let's get one of those going real quick. I pressed every button but the correct one there. So let's plop that there, and then we should have it set to T for right now. We do indeed. Cool. I also forgot to mention, but we did end up dying in between episodes to one of the guys from the swamp. That's why we have some of the entrails already. We had one of the raids kick off, and we died right here pretty much. So uh, we were doing pretty good until we weren't, and then uh, we died very quickly there. So hopefully that's not a case that's going to be happening over and over again in the swamp biome, but uh, I guess we'll kind of figure out here in a minute. All right, well, our outpost is ready to go here. We have a bunch of storage in here so that we can store everything before we take it back. We're most likely only going to be keeping the metals here because that's the only thing we can't take through the teleporter, but we have that going for us, and then we also have a secondary temporary one right here that is going to be linked to the portal that we're going to be plopping in the swamp. So I have the stuff to build one of those. We also have our key with us, just in case we do stumble across one of the, uh, the little dungeons in here. But I think we might actually have to sleep because it's already turning nighttime because my timing is horrible. So... Uh, we might need to do that. Hopefully we can maybe find a dungeon real quickly here, right in the entrance of this place. That would be real nice. Well, we do have a new tree type, so let's get this thing going real quick. And, yeah, that guy can leave me alone for two seconds. There we go. And, okay, he's not going to leave us alone. Let's just get rid of him. Let's see. This is going to be ancient wood. So, see how much of that we get from this. 
We've got a bonfire and ancient bark. Ooh, okay, cool. I'm gonna run back and sleep because it immediately turned nighttime like I thought it was going to do. So uh, let me let me go do that so it's not more dangerous than it needs to be. Well, let's see if we can stumble across a dungeon now that it's daytime, although it doesn't really seem like it's daytime because it's raining. Is that a dungeon right there or is that just a building? That might just be a building. Uh, you know what? Uh, let's see if we can work our way on over to it. Maybe it is going to be what we need. We have this thing right here. This could also be a dungeon, so... Let's see, what is this guy? A flooded a flooded thing that we probably can't go into, can we? No, because we're going to start swimming, and I'd rather not be swimming when these guys come and attack us. Let's uh, deal with these guys, please. Our armor's holding up pretty well. As long as we can manage to actually parry the attacks, we can do fairly well here. We got a blob. Is that going to drop anything special for us? It did indeed. Cool, we got an ooze bomb. Cool. Got another leech. We might as well kill this as well, so we get the blood sack. That's going to come in handy. And there we go. Cool. This is uh, this is not going to be a super, super nice place to be, but as long as we keep an eye on our stamina, we should be completely fine, I think. Oh, I think this might be one of the dungeons we're looking for, so hopefully there's nothing... Sounds like someone's grumbling right there. Oh, no, I don't want a bow guy. Bow guys are real bad. Uh, let's get rid of this guy as fast as we can. Hopefully he doesn't do too much damage. Die, please. Thank you. And there we go. We used our key to open that. Great. Before we go in there, though, I do want to plop down our portals. So uh, let me let me very quickly do one of those. I keep accidentally burning my my potions as well. I keep trying to go to my hammer and I keep using them instead. So uh, for right now, let's do that, and then we can jump up here. Cool, and then we can plop our portal down over on top, and our thingy should be A right now. Fairly certain. Please uh, do the whole thingamabobber here. There we go. Cool. Okay. So, I don't know if we can... Oh, I did it again, dang it. As soon as I said I, I was trying not to do that, I did it again. Uh, I want to see if we can even get up on top of this thing without needing that on the ground. Oh, yeah, we can. Okay, cool. So, I'm going to hold the uh, work... Actually, I need to go up there and plop it down just so they don't break it. And then I can actually break that thing on my own here. We might need to bring a hoe, potentially. Yeah, our stamina is gone already. Okay. Uh, these are thistles. We have those already. I'm trying to keep an eye out for... I think it's onions. I don't remember what's exactly here, but that is one of the spawners, I think, for the uh, Sirtland core dudes. So that could come in handy as well. We're probably not going to mess with it too much today because all they do is drop coal, which right now we don't really need a farm for that. Eventually, we will most likely want to automate that in some way. I just got up here a second ago, and I can't I can't get back up here now. Maybe with the extra step. There we go. Nice. Okay, so now we can plop our workbench back down just to get the wood out of our inventory. We are looking kind of... Uh, we, we got room to play with right now. Is it worth going in here, though? Probably. Uh, yeah, let's go in. Uh, let me go drop all this stuff off real quick. Two seconds. Let me drop it off in our little shack, and then we can jump right into this vault. Or not the vault, the uh, the dungeon here. All right, nice. We are in a sunken crypt. So this is where we're going to be getting our hands on some iron. And we will see some of that here in a second. I was kind of hoping it'd be right in front of us, but that's... Oh, yeah, we do have some right there. That is going to give us iron and a bunch of other garbage. So uh, it could be pretty good. We should hopefully get a fair bit from this first little area. So... Uh, real quickly, let's just double check and make sure we can even use the first pickaxe for this. We can indeed. Okay. Is there stuff coming from behind me? No. So, uh, let's mine this up real quick. We can get our first little bits of iron, hopefully, from this. And there we go. Nice. We got our first piece of scrap iron. So, this is going to be quite a process. But I would like to go through and just clear the dungeon, just so we don't have to worry about anybody coming and potentially killing us. And we got a spawner right in front of us in this next room. Okay, this is already off to a, a little dicey start here, because I had to swim, and I didn't have my weapons out. And that looks like a big guy back there. Okay, this is not going too, too bad, although we're a little low. Okay, you know what? Let's, uh, let's, let's retreat for a quick second. We got uh, a couple more hits in us before we're dead. This could go uh, very, very poorly. Yep, we just got hit again. I didn't realize they, they will swim after me there. So uh, let's just give it a second. Let's uh, let's try and get some little cheap hits in. Never mind. Let's not do that. Let's get our stamina back or our health back in general here because that could be that could be real bad here. All right, let's actually go to the right side here and see what we're working with. We have a dead end. Okay. Well, dang it. So we either go that way and dig our way through, or we go that way and 
have to fight through one of these spawners, which almost proved to be quite deadly there a second ago. Let's go to the left, so that way we don't have to swim again and get the wet debuff. So this will at least hopefully give us a couple more pieces of iron. That would be nice. We've got a drog right here. Let's clear this out for him to come through, please. Thank you. Come on. Come after me. I want to counter your attack. I also don't want this guy swimming up on us again. Oh, he's a bow guy. No. Okay. Come out, please. And block. Yes. Okay, cool. Let's kill him very quickly. And one more. Good. Thank you. We got a couple more pieces we can mine right here. We'll get that in a minute. I just want to very quickly walk down here and see what we got. We got another dead end. Okay. So this dungeon is not very big by the looks of it right here, but it could expand quite a bit on that side. So let me gather up this stuff real quick. Well, a quick recharge and we are ready to go here. Although we got a bow guy right away. Let's uh, hopefully be able to deal with both of them and the spawner at the same time. That would be really fantastic. Although, oh, this is a one star guy. Okay, yeah, that, that could be very, very deadly. Yeah, okay, hold on. Hold on there, buddy. Okay, all right, we're dead. We are dead. Yep. Wow. Okay. That uh, was not very good. That was not good at all. Well, at least he wasn't camping our stuff, so I'm happy about that. Let's uh, let's throw all that stuff back on. Let's also eat all of our food. And let's see. Is it worth going back in there right now? Because I feel like we're just going to die to the same guy over and over again. Let's, uh, let's set these on and... Let's wait until our health is completely filled up again. I'm going to walk right back in there and see if I can kill him. All right, let's see. Where is he? Oh, he's right there. Dang it. Okay, uh, let's back up a little bit. Maybe we can get him to push out. There we go. There we go. Come on. We need those crit hits. I can take some shots here this time around. And can we get him stunned? We can't get him stunned, but we at least got him killed. Okay, I will gladly take that. It immediately spawned another tier one guy. That stinks. Okay. Um... Uh, do one of those real quick, please. Thank you. I also don't want to get pushed into the water. Okay. All right. Hold on one second, buddy. The spawner is broken, so there shouldn't be any more spawning in there. I really do appreciate that this guy is just standing there and letting me shoot him in the face, but there we go. That's him dealt with. Let's go back over there, and hopefully nothing is there, because the spawner, again, is broken. All right, cool. There's nothing here, but we do got a chest, and it has 15 iron in it already. That is awesome. Okay, so uh, we're going to be very heavy if we keep that on us, so let's just leave it in the chest for right now. All this stuff can be teleported, so we can just swim right back and grab this over and over again. So I'm fine with that. We got a withered bone. Cool. Got some amber. Nice. Well, the little blob opened up more area here, so we have another blob this way. So let's get rid of this, although our pickaxe is about to break. And it looks like this is going to be a dead end as well. Looks like there's blocks behind that. Oh, actually, nope. It looks like it's opening. Never mind. Well, with the rest of the pile dealt with here, we have a total of 30 iron right now. So we want to take all that back in one go. But right now, we want to have our entire boat full. So right now, we have four inventory slots on our boat. And each stack is 30, so we need another 90 to go before we even sail back to base right now. So I'm going to be running around the swamp and gathering up some more iron right now. I just want to very quickly waddle this all the way back to the little shack that we set up. So that way we don't have to come running back and forth into the swamp. Although, I think if I do this right now, we're going to drown ourselves. So uh, let's do one of those real quick. And then we'll drop all this at the door and then come back through and grab the rest of that and take it all in one go here. And these are the guys that come out of that thing right there. I'm trying to get them to come into the water, but they don't look like they want to come in here. So uh, let's uh, let's not die to the potion guy or this guy either. So yeah, okay. Whatever, we're going to leave those guys alone for right now. We don't really need them, like I said. But we have another dungeon right here that we can go into. And hopefully we can jump off of this thing. And we have a new blobby guy right there, I think. I'm pretty sure he's new. Oh, our stamina's gone. Okay. Yep. All right. Hold on one second. Hopefully we don't die here. I don't want to have to run back in here. All right. Let's try and clear these guys out real quick so they don't accidentally break our portal. That would be ideal. Please die. We got a blob trophy. Cool. All right. Oh, and these guys drop these things. Oh, that could actually be really good. I thought they only dropped coal. So that might honestly be something that we set up sooner rather than later because if we have a way of farming those things and not having to go clear dungeons over and over again, I would very much like that. I'm also not sure where we just got the iron from. Either we got it from a blob or these guys also dropped that. I'm not too sure because we killed everything right there, so... Uh, I guess we can figure that out later. Well, this dungeon is already bigger than the last one here, so that's great for us. We also got chains. Cool. That's going to give us some new recipes here, which we are going to need. 
And let's drop the mushroom off. I don't really need that. We are currently up at six iron, or five, because we had one coming into here. So uh, we have a pathway there. I don't know if this is going to be one as well. It looks like it's also going to be a path. Oh, no, that's a dead end. No, it's not. Never mind. We have to dig this out. So yes, this one is very much bigger than the last one that we went into. We're just about done clearing out this dungeon. I just had to make a quick trip back home and pick up our stag breaker because we have a level two archer over there and he is doing a lot of damage. So we wanted to grab this just in case we are able to kill them with it, which we are. This thing has like an AOE attack. So this is going to help us kill this dude through the wall. And hopefully we can get lucky and break the spawner as well. That's right there. If we can keep hitting it. That would be really great. There we go. I think I just broke it. And we also killed the other guy that just spawned from it. Nice. Okay. All right. Well, that's the end of this dungeon as well. We got a total of 63 iron from this one. So that is real good. We need one more stack. And then we have a full boat. And then I'm also going to probably have half a stack or something in our inventory as well to try and maximize on our trip here. So let me go ahead and move all this stuff back to our little shack. Go find another dungeon and clear it as well. And then we will be setting sail back to base here in just a minute. All righty. Well, I just got done clearing out our third crypt here and we got a total of 99 iron from this one here it is absolutely massive in here before we start taking all that stuff back to our boat i do want to go ahead and do one thing with you guys so in this crypt on the back side here if we go through and we make a quick little left here we have the third boss's location so let's go ahead and do that and they are way out there. That's a little annoying. Anyways, let me go ahead and start shifting all this iron back to our little shack so that we can load up our boat in one go. We also can only carry 22 at the moment at one time, so this is going to take a couple trips, but we'll have this done in no time, so I'll be right back with you guys. So uh, hopefully that guy doesn't alert on us because that's going to be real bad for us. We have to swim across real quick because we don't have a good connection. And I'm not quite sure what that green stuff is that's floating in the water right there, but... It looks like maybe there's a tablet that we can read in the water. I'm not quite sure what that is. Maybe it's just a rock on the ground. So in total, we got 192 iron that we need to take back to our base. I also got a whole bunch of loot that I can just take through the teleporter here. So let me get all this stuff moved over. And then all we got to do is sail back home with our iron. And hopefully that is uh, a very smooth process here. Well, that kind of sucks. I didn't realize you couldn't drive the boat if you were overweight. So uh, we have to leave some of the iron here, unfortunately. So we do need to make a secondary trip back over here. But when we do, we should have the bigger boat. So it shouldn't really be an issue. Well, we just discovered the trader. So this is the pathway that we took the first time when we came over here to fight the elder. And then I decided to cross a little earlier going back home. And in doing so, we discovered another swamp, which is great. That's more of the uh, the little dungeon things we can go clear. But we also uncovered the trader as soon as we hit like this point right here. So had we gone another like 10 feet in the direction that we crossed over to begin with, we probably would have uncovered the trader last episode. So now what we got to do is go on over to him, set up a portal so that we're able to go trade all of our valuables to him and buy all of his goods. But we are still on our way back home. So give me a few minutes here. We are going to uh, make our new boat and then we're going to make some armor, hopefully. And then maybe we go set up a portal over to him as well so that we can go trade all of our stuff. We finally made it back. There is one thing our base is in desperate need of if we are going to be moving around in boats now, and that is a dock. So maybe at some point here we will make one, but right now that is not a priority here. So let me uh, let me unload and get everything put into the wagon here. We do need to go on over to our copper mine and take our smelter down because I really don't want to have to wagon this stuff way over there to get it. So I'm going to go do all that real quick, get our smelters and stuff put up over here at the base. And then we should be able to start smelting down our iron. All right, well, our first piece of iron is done. And now we have the recipe for the armor. And we've got some tools as well. Good. Okay, so let's see how much we need. We need one iron per 10 nails. So we're going to need some of those so that we can see the, uh, the recipe for the boat. So let me get one of those put together. The recipes have finally stopped popping up. But we have a bunch of iron stuff in the forge that we can make now. We also have some new stuff in our hammer menu. So we have an anvil for the forge. We also have the bellows but that was because we picked up chains so that's cool we also let's see we have a stone cutter now that's going to come in handy we have a bigger cooking hook thing that's going to come in handy as well we also have this thing over here to level up our forge and we have a whole bunch of iron stuff we have reinforced iron stuff or reinforced wood stuff we have a couple new chests we have the uh, brazier thing from earlier when we found the chains we also have a new chair that's kind of neat we have an armor stand Ooh, okay and is there anything here? We wanted the boat, right? The big boat, the big boat, long boat. Here we go. We need 100 nails. So we need to waste 10 of our iron ingots on nails. 
and everything else we should have. We have a bunch of ancient bark already built up because there was some in the chest and stuff that we were doing. So if anything, we might need to grab some fine wood. I'm not too, too sure on that, but we should have the iron. We have a whole ton of iron on us right now. So we're going to smelt all our stuff down, get a boat put together, and then we will see what that looks like here in just a second. Here we go. There's the big boat, and this thing is going to have a ton of storage. So let's see. We've got... I think that's as much as the wagon itself also. So that's going to be really, really helpful compared to the four slot thing that we were just using. Well, I just had a little bit of a hiccup on my capture, so I don't know how much of that footage is going to be usable here. But we had all of our iron smelted down. We obviously made all of our iron gear here. We also made a shield, a mace, a pick, and a sword. So that way we have all that stuff iron now. We also put together one of the new iron chests. And in there, we have all of our extra gear. I also crafted up some troll armor, so that way we can run around with that when we're not fighting things. But what we're going to do right now is actually sail on over to the trader so that we can sell him all of our stuff. So I'm going to do that right now. I do apologize for that little hiccup in the recording here. I didn't realize my, uh, my capture card had actually messed up there until I was already done with all that stuff there. So I do apologize, but we are going to sail on over and hopefully... The trader is going to be selling some good stuff here. Well, let's see what this guy has for sale here. He's got a Yule hat. Cool. Let's uh, let's actually sell him all our stuff first so we can see how much money we've got. We got 2100 So the most important thing that we want is actually this thing. This is going to increase our carrying capacity. So let's get that going for us. We also want to, I guess, pick up the fishing rod. mate, Or actually, this thing might actually be a little more important. Let's take that. We have 500 points left over. Let's also pick up the fishing rod. Why not? Let's grab a thunderstone and some fishing bait as well we got 128 left over so i will hold on actually let's buy the yule hat i don't know if this does anything but we'll take that nonetheless we got 28 gold left over let's also equip this thing that we just got which is right here let's uh plop that over here and now we should have 450 weight and we do indeed that is going to be huge we can move more metal around in one go instead of having to make multiple trips. It's going to be so nice, man. Alrighty, well, that's going to be it for today's episode. Next episode, we are going to try and fight Bone Mass. Today, when the video goes live, by the way, I'm going to try and squeeze in a short stream so that we can go gather up some more iron and potentially try and find some more bees. We are really struggling on the honey front because uh, I've only found one bee so far, and I would like to get more of those going. And then on Saturday, we are going to be streaming for probably like six or eight hours or something stupid because I want to level up our gear completely before we go fight bone mass. So hopefully we have some good luck on stream and get a bunch of bees and a bunch of iron. But anyways, that is going to be it for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed as always, and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.